Dear students, today we will discuss about the chemical reactions. Uh, various chemical changes occurs in our everyday life around us. We are going to discuss about chemical reactions. It is one of it is the one in which one set of chemical substances get transformed into another set of substances with totally different properties. The main concept is during these chemical reactions, the sub another set of substances with totally different properties will be obtained. It will going to transform into totally different properties. Another set of totally different properties. In these chemical reactions, two parts are there: reactants and products. Reactants. These are the substances that are initially involved or which react together they are initially involved during the chemical reaction initially they are involved these reactants are required to initiate the chemical changes or the chemical reactions another term regarding chemical reactions is the products these are the new substances which are formed by the breakdown or combinations of reactants. Two terms are important. Breakdown or combinations of reaction, reactants. So reactants can be broken down into simpler parts or to create a new substances. Or reactants can directly combine to produce a new set of products, new set of compounds. For example, hydrogen and oxygen. When hydrogen and oxygen combine, it will form water. Here, yeah, hydrogen, oxygen directly combine to form water. In zinc oxide, when zinc oxide react with carbon, zinc and carbon monoxide form a new set of substances that are totally with different properties. Now, zinc oxide break down to produce zinc and again carbon react with this oxygen to produce carbon monoxide. Here, hydrogen and oxygen, hydrogen and oxygen are the reactants and water are the products. Zinc oxide and carbon, they are reactants and zinc and carbon monoxides are the products. So these are the word equations. This is the chemical reactions. So you will learn this reactants and the products and the chemical reactions. Now there are several conditions which are necessary for chemical reactions. We are going to discuss about this. There are six conditions are uh, essential for the chemical reactions. Number one, contact. The reactants should be in close contact to initiate a chemical reaction. The reactants must be in close contact to initiate, just to start the chemical reactions. For example, so when sodium react with water, they should be in close contact. It will directly produce sodium hydroxide and hydrogen. So in these reactions, contact of sodium with water is required to produce sodium hydroxide and hydrogen. Next conditions are the solutions of the reactants. Next condition, solutions of the reactants. Some chemical reactions proceed only when reactants are in Solution form. Some chemical reactions proceed only when the reactants are in solution form. For example, sodium chloride. When solid sodium chloride react with lead nitrate, it will not going to form sodium nitrate and lead chloride. But the solution, when the solution of sodium chloride react with solutions of lead nitrate, sodium nitrate solution and a white precipitate of lead chloride is formed. Precipitate
precipitate. It is an insoluble solid formed on chemical reactions of two solutions. It is insoluble. White precipitate, it is insoluble. It is in solid state. But these are in the solution phase. So when solid sodium chloride react with solid lead nitrate, we are not going to produce any, any products. But when sol sodium chloride solution react with lead nitrate solution, it will produce sodium nitrate solution and lead chloride as a white precipitate. Next, heat. Heat is another essential condition for some chemical reactions. For example, burning or cooking. We can't expect any cooking without burning, uh, sorry, without any heat. We can't expect burning without any heat. So heat is another essential necessary condition. Next is the light. There are some chemical reactions are essential for, for them. Light is essential and these are termed as photochemical reactions. The reactions that take place in the presence of light are known as photochemical reactions. For example, photosynthesis. When carbon dioxide reacts with water, normally carbon dioxide will not going to react with water. Carbon dioxide is soluble in water. It will going to form the solutions of carbon dioxide in water. But when this carbon dioxide reacts with water in presence of sunlight and in presence of chlorophyll, of course in presence of chlorophyll is required, it will going to form glucose, oxygen and the water. So here the carbon dioxide and the water are the reactants while the glucose, oxygen and water are the products. So in these reactions, sunlight is the main essential factor. Thus, the photosynthesis is a photochemical reaction. So in these reactions, light is the necessary conditions. The next most important conditions for the chemical reactions is the catalysts. Catalysts are the substances which change the rate of chemical reactions without themselves undergoing any chemical change are called catalysts. The most important part, the key word, they will, without themselves undergoing any chemical change, they will remain intact after the chemical reactions, but they will increase or decrease the rate of chemical reactions. The rate of chemical reactions. Potassium chlorate. When heat, uh, in presence of manganese dioxide, potassium chloride and oxygen form. Potassium chlorate breaks to produce potassium chloride and oxygen. But manganese dioxide remains intact after these chemical reactions. Here manganese dioxide is the catalyst. Potassium chlorate is the reactant, potassium chloride and oxygen is the product. Next, the most important last factor is the electricity. There are some chemical reactions, for them electricity is the required. Many chemical changes happen only when an electric current passes through the reactants. For example, when water decomposes, water decomposes into hydrogen and oxygen only in presence of an electric current. Without the presence of electric current, water will not going to de decompose to produce hydrogen and oxygen. So electricity is the another necessary condition. So students, let's recap. The, we have learned that chemical reaction, it is one in which one set of chemical substances get transformed into another set of chemical substances with totally different properties. That means the new substances are formed with some different properties. Next, we heard that we learned that reactants, the substances that are initially involved, that is required for initiation of these chemical changes, are known as chemical reactants or simply the reactants. Products, the new substances that are formed by the breakdown of the combinations of the reactants. Here the hydrogen and oxygen when combined to produce water. Here water is the products, hydrogen and oxygen is the reactants. 
zinc oxide when react with carbon it will form zinc and carbon monoxide they are carbon combined with oxygen to produce carbon monoxide but zinc oxide breaks to produce zinc so that means it will form the products are formed by the breakdown or combinations of the reactants next we have discuss about six conditions necessary for the chemical reactions and these are contacts solutions of the reactants heat light catalyst and electricity the new term we heard that precipitate precipitate this is the insoluble solid that are formed when the reactions of two solutions insoluble solid white precipitate here the lead chloride when the sodium chloride react with lead nitrate it will going to produce sodium nitrate and the lead chloride and this lead chloride is in the solid state and it is insoluble in both solutions in all the solutions thus it is termed as that precipitate we heard another new term the catalyst it will going to change the rate of chemical reactions without themselves undergoing any chemical change we cited an example potassium chloride it will break down to produce potassium chloride oxygen and manganese dioxide and the last one is the electricity we heard this one the breaking of this water molecule into its constituents of the hydrogen and oxygen electric current are required so we learn this uh, language of chemistry chapter 6 for this chemical reactions reactants products and all the conditions